How does milk turn into cheese? There's so many different kinds of cheese in the world, and yet they all come from just one thing, milk. What kind of chemical reactions happen to change liquid into yummy solids? There are actually three. First is acidification, otherwise known as fermentation. Bacteria are added to the milk, and it ferments the lactose in the milk, turning it into lactic acid. This anaerobic respiration lowers the pH of the milk. The second chemical reaction is coagulation. The fermentation process causes casein proteins in the milk to clump together, forming curds, otherwise known as coagulation. Soft cheeses can coagulate just through fermentation, but harder cheeses need rennet to coagulate. Rennet contains enzymes that hydrolyze the casein proteins, which speeds up the coagulation and forms more solid curds. The third step isn't necessarily a chemical reaction, but it's just as important. The curd has whey trapped in it, which is a combination of water and fats. It needs to be drained out of the curd to make cheese. This happens through cutting up the cheese, cooking, molding, or even squeezing it through a press. The smaller pieces the curd is cut into, the more whey drains, and the harder the cheese. Temperature also affects the cheese. It affects the activity of the bacteria, the rate of acid production, and therefore the flavor and texture of the cheese. Finally, the longest chemical reaction needed to make cheese is aging. Some fresh cheeses like mozzarella and feta don't need to be aged, but most cheeses need maturation to develop their unique flavors and textures. Aging breaks down the sugars, proteins, and fats in the cheese, creating flavor compounds for your enjoyment. Certain other cheeses like blue cheese or camembert use mold to further evolve their flavor. And that's how cheese is made. What do you think? What's your favorite kind of cheese?